going on? What's going on? This is Hassan Shabazz from Sacred Life Connections Health and Wellness. Coming at you on our YouTube channel as well as um, through our blog and through our uh, um, podcast. So check us out at our podcast at Sacred Life Connections Podcast. Also, check us out on our YouTube channel, Man Means Mind. And you can also find this video on our Sacred Life Connections Health and Wellness YouTube channel. So check us out at our podcast and on our YouTube channels. Check out the Sacred Life Connections Health and Wellness YouTube channel as well as the Man Means Mind YouTube channels. Our topic today is dealing with Napoleon Hill's success principle number 15. We have a series beginning with success principle number one that you can find on the YouTube channel. So check those out and you can catch up. Success principle number 15 is entitled Maintaining Sound Health. And this will deal with all four levels of health. And if you want more information on that, check it. Go to uh, Sacred Life Connection Health and Wellness YouTube channel, and you can, you'll see a plethora of videos dealing with how to achieve optimal health. So, our topic: maintaining sound health. That's success principle number fifteen from Napoleon Hill's seventeen success principles. As always, if you're new to the channel, we hope that you will subscribe to the channel. If you if you if you're not new to the channel and you still haven't subscribed, consider subscribing. Like the video, share the video, and make a comment on the video. We look at all the comments, and all comments are appreciated. So, subscribe, like, and share. And if you're looking for a free health consultation, free health analysis, contact us at hassanaskir at gmail.com and we will be glad to give you a free confidential health consultation. So let's get into the into the video for the day. Our topic, as we said, is principle number 15 of Napoleon Hill's 17 success principles, maintenance of sound health. Follow work with play, mental effort with physical effort. So he's, he's, he's talking about a dual balance. Work hard, play hard. Think, use your mind, but also get physical activity. Work out in the gym, work, uh, walk. Get physical activity, get 60 minutes of, of physical activity activity daily. Also read something. Work that mind. Read at least four or five paragraphs of something daily. Read. Try to read for an hour if possible. Read something. Just keep something still in your mind. Do do board games, do puzzles, do crossword puzzles, etc. But do something to keep that mind active. So follow work with play, mental effort with physical effort. Then eating with fasting. So eat healthy, eat as healthy as you possibly can. That should be the um, desire of everybody. That should be everybody's desire. Everybody's goal should be to eat as healthy as possible. And fast. You should Fast at least once, one day out of the month. Intermediate fasting. Fasting is the body designed for, fat, for, for fasting. When you fast, you help the body rid itself of unhealthy toxins. So if you want, you, should, you, so you need to fast. Consider fasting. I was, I would encourage you to try to fast at least one day out of the month. Intermediate fasting. I mean, you eat something in the morning, take a light meal in the morning, then fast for at least 18 hours during the day, and then break your fast in the afternoon. 
Okay, so intermediate fasting, try that at least once. One day out of a month, try to fast. Just drink water. You don't have to go about anything, but you can drink water during the day. I wouldn't drink a whole lot of juices because juices have a big accumulation of sugar, and you don't want all that sugar inside your body. So, but drink clean spring water if you can. If you don't have access to spring water, drink the cleanest um, tap water that you can drink. And put a lemon or a lime inside the tap water to give it some alkaline. So follow work with play, mental effort with physical effort, eating with fasting, seriousness with humor. So be be serious, but also be humor. It's all, all right to laugh sometimes. Have show some humor. They're the each they're talking about a dual balance. Don't ever be too far on one side and too far on the other side. Don't be too playful. But the author don't be too serious. And he says, if you do this, you will be on the road to sound health and happiness. Don't try to cure a headache. It is better to cure the thing that causes the headache. Whatever you possess, material, mental, or spiritual, you must use it or lose it. You are a mind with a body. Since your brain controls your body, know that sound physical health is dependent upon a positive mental attitude. I repeat that again. Sound physical health, optimal health, is dependent on having a sound mental attitude. So you have to establish sound, well-balanced health habits in work, play, rest, nourishment and study and develop and maintain positive thought habits remember what your mind focuses upon your mind brings into existence simply put you are what you think about all the time whatever you constantly think about you're forming that in your reality and you're going to bring up bring upon conditions or situations that will bring that about so if you don't want something to come about don't think about it. Don't ponder on it. So that includes good things or bad things. You are what you think about. And you are what the sum total of the people you surround yourself around. So if you're a positive person and you're surrounded by negative negative people, eventually you will become a negative person. If you are a healthy person and you're around people who are unhealthy, eventually, if you're not careful, you will become unhealthy. So control your mind control your environment what your mind focuses upon your mind brings into existence if you think you're sick you are it all begins in the mind it all begins as an idea so You must grow and develop on all four levels of your life. That should be your goal. To be as physically fit as you can be. To be financially set. That don't mean you have to be a millionaire. It just means that you have control over your, over your financial situation. You're not overly maxed out financially. You don't have too much debt. You're able to pay your bills on time. You're able to buy the thing that you want. And if you're a millionaire, that's even better. But the first step is to be get control over, over your financial situation. Get control over, over your physical situation. So physically fit, physically fit, mentally fit, meaning you're not stressed out, your mind is clear, and you're using your mind, you're thinking, and you're... Um, you, Part of you in your mind is to go into your mind palace and, and begin to think creatively. Go outside of where, you, where you're at in your current situation and use your imagination. Don't be afraid to imagine better. And that goes into your spiritual development. Your soul needs to see a better situation. It's, everything starts in the mind. 
Whatever you take in your mind forms your physical body, it forms your finances, and it forms your spiritual development. So the most important thing to realize that you are a mind in a physical body. So you must grow. I would encourage you to grow and develop on all four levels of your life. Never, ever stop trying to improve yourself. Seek knowledge from the cradle to the grave. Always be interested in learning, and that's not just learning to accumulate knowledge, but learning to share knowledge. As Napoleon Hill said, you have to learn, and then you have to share. So it's a, it's a balance. You don't learn just to keep it. You learn so you can, you can share it with someone. You can help someone else grow. And then be grateful for everything that God has given you. Always, no matter how big it is, no matter how small, show gratitude. So physically, physically, mentally, and spiritually, the uh, sharp. That's your goal. That should be your goal. It's to develop yourself on all four levels. And that's an everyday process. That's a constant process. You won't be through with that until you die. So every day you should be about growing and, and developing. So that's all we have for you today. Hope that you enjoyed this video. If you like more content dealing with self-development, check out our Man Means Mind YouTube channel. And if you want to improve your health, try to get optimal health, check out our Second Life Connection YouTube channel. So until next time, hope you subscribe to the video. Subscribe to the YouTube channel, that is. Like and share the video. And until next time, peace.